हरिओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंद सोसाइटी आर जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग द बुक गुरु भक्ति योगा ऑथर्ड बाय स्वामी शिवानंद जी महाराज नरेटेड बाय माय सेल्फ स्वामी निखिलानंद इन टुडे सत्संग वी विल बी स्टडीइंग द मेडिटेशन ऑन द फॉर्म ऑफ द गुरु मेडिटेट इन द अर्ली मॉर्निंग आवर्स of brahma mahurata or between 4 am to 6 am on the form of the guru and then only you will get his grace place a picture of your guru in front of you sit in a meditative pose concentrate gently on the picture rotate the mind on his lotus feet legs hands chest neck head face eyes etc then close the eyes and try to visualize the picture in the same manner repeat this process again and again till you get good meditation during meditation on the form of the guru you will get rapture ecstasy thrill peace and joy company of worldly people overeating self assertion rajasic nature sleep anger lust greed all these are the obstacles that will obstruct your meditation on the guru the chief obstacles in the meditation on the form of the guru are sleep tossing of the mind raising up of latent desires building castles in the air laziness diseases and spiritual pride the guru is the abode of all auspicious attributes the preceptor is the all in all of life to a disciple in other words the disciple should completely surrender his being to the guru and through that grace he will benefit this concept sometimes is hard for people in this modern day and age to fully comprehend and understand but in surrender lies the real growth because if the if we have a lot of ego and we say well why do i have to surrender i'm smart i'm educated then we have missed the point of guru bhakti yoga it's basically only a lit candle can light an unlit candle so the grace continues to grow and go from the guru to the disciple but only to the disciples who are humble and who revere the guru and follow the teachings to the fullest so devotion to the guru destroys birth old age and death so he terminates the cycle of repeated cycle of birth and death devotion to the guru is the only means to win the grace of the lord even god is pleased when the disciple is sincere and he is receiving the guru's grace guru is a great guide he who teaches the way of knowledge is a veritable divin- divinity on earth in other words god in human form who else but a guru can teach that way guru shows the way to god and makes the disciple happy and bestows upon him liberation both of them have to work hard guru and disciple is a very sacred bond he who points the path to perfection is indeed the guru in sanskrit the term gu means darkness or ignorance and ru means dispeller of this darkness or ignorance so by removing the darkness or the veil of ignorance in man he then becomes the guru the spiritual teacher by his constant instructions trains the aspirants the guru is a divine gift from the almighty to the true disciple all scriptures emphatically declare the necessity of a guru even the divine incarnations like lord rama and lord krishna accepted their gurus and obeyed their commands the disciple however great he may be from the standpoint of the world cannot taste the nirvanic bliss without the help of a spiritual preceptor or guru 
Thus, that reverence is a prerequisite for sincere disciples who want to climb the holy spiritual path. Knowledge cannot be attained by means of austerities, charity, or the study of the Vedas, except by being bathed in the dust of the lotus feet of the Guru. The disciple must always worship the form of the Guru and repeat his holy name. The aspirant should not think or speak ill of his Guru or any of the saints. That will be considered a sinful activity in the divine plan. So always revere all sages and saints. A sadhaka should not cut jokes before his Guru, however great the sadhaka may be. There is a certain respect, a certain reverence that has to be created between the disciple and his Guru. Guru is a divine messenger on earth. Nay, he is divinity itself. The Guru does not require any service or help from the disciple, but he gives a chance to the disciple to evolve by serving him. So it's a great blessing when the disciple gets a chance to be of service to the Guru. The way of the great. All the sages, saints, prophets, world teachers, incarnations, great men have had their own gurus. However great they may have been, they still needed a guru to get to that stage. The guru is a mine of all virtues and auspiciousness. The contact with the Guru removes all doubts, fears, worries and anxieties. By unshakable faith in and firm devotion to Guru, a disciple can attain material prosperity and success in all undertakings. The Guru is the lifeboat to the disciple who is sinking in the ocean of worldliness and the Guru extends his hand and picks up the disciple and saves him from drowning. If you want to learn any art, you must approach a teacher who knows the art well. Only then can you learn. When such is the case with the ordinary secular knowledge, how much more should be the necessity for a teacher on the spiritual path? Something to ponder about. Those who attempt to control the mind without Guru's help are like merchants who have not secured a good pilot for their vessel. So how can they be successful? The spiritual path is thorny and precipitous. Temptations will assail you. There may be downfall. So approach the teacher who has already tread the path. So he knows what obstacles will come in your way and he Make sure you avoid them. Close your eyes and meditate on the form of your Guru and recite his holy name. Meditation on Guru gives bliss, inner strength, peace of mind and joy. Glory to Guru means glory to God. So what is our relation to the Guru? In this Kali Yuga, God realization is to be attained through devotion to Guru. That is the easiest and the highly prescribed path in this day and age. To receive initiation from a Guru is a great blessing. When many good actions have fructified, do you come into contact with a Guru? Mantra Chaitanya, the power hidden in the mantras is awakened by taking initiation from the Guru. A Guru has that potent energy that gives the mantra its mystical um, content, the mystical impact to change your personality. So make it a point to serve the Guru with full devotion. No spiritual progress is possible without the aid of a Guru who is full of spirituality. Guru removes the veil of aspirants and obstacles and throws light on their path. So he removes their obstacles and gives them guidance. Miss not an opportunity to have satsanga with the Guru, Mahatmas and saints of all castes and creeds. So be in good company, study good holy scriptures and ask questions with humility. Make prostrations daily to your parents and school teachers and your spiritual preceptors. 
let your mother be your god let your father be your god let your guru teacher be your god and let your guest be your god also so treat everybody with reverence and respect study of sacred scriptures without service to guru is only a waste of time because unless you practically apply these teachings and get the grace of the guru how can you evolve study of holy scriptures from guru without giving guru dakshina to him is only a waste of time dakshina meaning serving the guru dakshina can be through wealth through your self effort through your serving the guru in whatever capacity you can otherwise just getting free teachings is not going to be very helpful for the aspirant because there is no sincerity no self effort no drive nothing major has happened just like you when you go to the market you have to spend money to get a product much in the same way to get this high spiritual knowledge all the sages and saints say that guru dakshina is a necessary uh, part of this holy relationship the mere reading of vedic texts upanishads and brahma sutras without fulfilling the guru's wishes will neither bring good nor knowledge so it will not help if we just stay at the bookish level after serving a long time a pure and calm mind becomes your guru so once we do this regularly and we get guru's grace then obviously we are following the path in a proper way so with this we conclude our satsang for today in tomorrow satsang we will study the indispensability of guru's grace his guru the guru's grace that performs miracles in so many ways om shri guruve namaha so with this we conclude our satsang hari om tat sat